some artist depiction of the Big Bang instead of the statue of Shiva? For those who have not yet heard about this controversial piece of art that CERN proudly exhibits between buildings 39 and 40 near the main uh, building of their operation, it stands as really the most visible and celebrated imagery behind their work, Shiva. This is the Hindu god of destruction. section of CERN that is built upon the St. Genus Poili, which is a commune in Ain, uh, a department of France. In Roman times, the St. Genus Poili was called Apoliacum, um, but the town and a temple were dedicated there in ancient times to Apollyon, the destroyer, the Shiva Horus, if you will. Apollyon uh, is also the angel of the bottomless pit, referred to in Revelation 9-11. And then there is a connection between CERN and the Gothard Base Tunnel, the GBT, which is the world's deepest and longest tunnel system, consisting of two parallel passages, each moving in a single direction on a single track. The GBT passes directly beneath St. Gothard's Pass, a strategic um, north-south corridor that connects northern and southern Switzerland. Um, the connection to the Large Hadron Collider has to be made primarily because of the bizarre opening ceremony that was live streamed to the entire world on June 1, 2016, that included this highly occult demonic dance with characterization. the religions of the world by conducting an interfaith blessing of the tunnel beside a statue of St. Barbara, the patron saint of minors. Um, following the blessing at the statue of St. Barbara, Dio's southern portal provided the visiting dignitaries a disturbing parade really of minors, erotic dancers, zombies, fallen angels, all of whom were obeying the call of what they called the shepherd, whose yodels invoked the appearance of the event's uh, infernal master of ceremonies, a goat man, uh, portrayed by a young and energetic dancing male. This creature is shown with a Baphomet headdress, a goat, uh, a goat demon's head, if you will, and a goat body costume with a hairy pelt. And then it had a formal tuxedo over the top. Um, the imagery was heavily evocative of the German and barbarian uh, Christmas demon known as Krampus. Krampus. <laughs> 